Hello. I'd like to give you a brief overview of our kindergarten philosophy. The child's brain grows until the age of six. Most brain growth is until the age of three. But the physical brain continues to grow in size until the age of six. Now, the brain can have many connections. Inside this brain, the connections are created by stimulation. And stimulation, of course, to the brain is done through the senses, which is something we can deal with very well in our kindergarten, is stimulate the senses in a manner to create maximum brain growth, maximum connections between the brain cells. Indeed, how does a child function? What creates a child's intelligence? Is it nature, that means the genes the child's born with, or is it nurture, the environment, the stimulation that the child has around? We believe it's both, but of course we can deal only with the nurture part, with the stimulation, the structured stimulation that we create in our kindergartens. Rapid brain development is done by stimulation and careful development of the cognitive physical, social and emotional levels of every child. And indeed, with the methodologies that we have used, which are based very much on people like Glenn Doman and other very famous child developers, we have seen that the children who start ahead, who do the type of programme we are working with at an early age, have results that are seen in primary school, secondary school and beyond. The best time to learn language is at birth. Babies are fantastic linguistic detectives. They know how to analyse language. And parents are the people who know how to feed them language in order for them to analyse this. And all our English learning courses are structured to give the best way for children to be able to absorb and use the English language. We not only have the best system and the best methodology, but we also have a very wide array of teaching materials and way we use them and trainings, something which is incomparable. And of course, we use whole brain development, materials and methodologies that combine the, both the analytical and the synthetic, that means both the left and the right side of the brain. The word education comes from the Latin educare. Educare means to lead out. E means out and ducare is to lead. What does it mean to lead out? What are we bringing out? We're bringing out the abilities of the child, not just stuffing in knowledge. We're giving lots of knowledge, but we're also bringing out what we believe to be children's innate abilities. And we do so through love, information, oxygen, i.e. Ex exercise, and correct nutrition. Nutrition that's going to give them the most vitality and the best way of developing their body. What is our educational process? It involves carefully trained teachers and a very, very unique curriculum. Indeed, we have music, songs, games, repeated hearing, positive reinforcement and hands-on activities, yes, in both our English teaching methodologies and in all our kindergarten subjects. We have all the Helen Duran programmes under one roof. Let's start with early English. We have small group activities, and we have large group activities. We have Ready Steady Move, which is an amazing physical development program involving Pilates, dance, yoga, martial arts warm-ups, all together, all in English. We have a multi-music program, which is an amazing, unique program, six different languages. The children are exposed to different songs. Each of these songs is translated into six languages. So the children learn 
interesting subject matter, actually in multidisciplinary things, whether it's about outer space and planets, or whether it's about atoms or animals or whatever, or nature. Children learn these subjects in six different languages. It's not hard. Lots of movements, lots of fun. And that gives them the sensitivity to different languages, different cultures, which will serve them for life. We have Eureka Maths from age two to six. Again, our very own programs, uh, many, many different levels of math, which includes mathematical thinking and geometry and all the basis, of course, that they would need for primary school as well, as well as the width of thinking that we provide them with. And we have Eureka Science, which allows children to explore nature, to come back with questions, to be the teachers themselves, because they answer their own questions through exploration. Very, very exciting program. Our teachers reach for the stars professionally with their ongoing training and with their compassion. This is very much part of being the teacher. They're not just out there to teach. They're out there to expose the children to much information and the children come back with their questions and their input in many ways and on many levels. The children actually teach themselves. We use Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence. Very briefly, instead of intelligence being measured as linguistic or logical mathematical, which is really what today's IQ tests measure, intelligence is far beyond that. We have our great musicians who have musical intelligence. We have architects who have spatial intelligence. And of course, dancers need spatial and movement intelligence. We have our naturalists who talk about nature around. Kinesthetic, people are good at movement. Interpersonal, intrapersonal, which isn't on the chart, and much more. And children are taught in so many different approaches that whatever approach speaks to them, they will pick up. Our children are multilingual. First of all, bilingual because they have their mother tongue and English, but multilingual to a certain extent because they have our multi-music program. But above all, with the English that they acquire, their good accent their excellent grammar, their wide vocabulary and the ease they feel with the language, they easily enter the global community that every child needs to be part of today, that every adult needs to be part of. And in any form of education, input equals output. It's on every level. The more you talk to a child, the more language the child has, the more English the child's exposed to, obviously structured in a manner that our young students can absorb, the more English our young students will know and will stay with them for life. They learn hundreds of songs in English with movements. They learn drama. They learn plays. They see videos. They do activities. They touch. They move. English is part of their brain structure. They can't miss it. Our children are full of vitality. What does a parent want for their child? They want education. But you know, beyond education, they want their child to be healthy. They want their child to feel vital at every moment, to be able to embrace what is around, what is around him or her and what is out there in the world. So, in order to be able to focus on what we're doing, we have healthy plant-based diet devised by nutritionalists who know how to balance food for children and there is advice of course for parents at home which will allow the child's concentration to be maximalized their focus to be there at all moments allows for them to physically grow well and in a balanced manner and to be healthy children we want our children to be lovely people, to be kind, to be compassionate, to be empathetic, to love people, to love animals, to love nature and to care about ecology. Yes, a type of person of the future that we would like to see. 
What is education worth if the child is not a kind, nice person at the end of it? Obviously, has to be able to meet life's challenges, but to be a good person. Children need to be creative. With today's world, information is all around them at a click. They can read about history and geography and anything they want on the internet. But creativity, they do not get at the click of a finger. So creativity is something that we cater for and we encourage and we bring out. We educate them for. And we do this through playfulness, fantasy, encouraging curiosity. So that our children are creative. And our children are spiritual. What do I mean by spiritual? I do not mean religious. That is something personal that's up to the parent. And when I mean spiritual, I mean that they have faith in their hearts. They believe in the people around them. They trust the people around them. It helps them trust the world around them. That they have an intuition because emotionally they're stable as well. That they go with their feelings and they're happy and open. And that is what I mean by spiritual. So... This is an overview of our graduate. This is what we expect to see from the children who graduate the Helen Duron kindergartens. Every child will come out saying, yes, I can. I can do it. I can do whatever I want because I am capable. Obviously, what I want from their point of view, should be something which is moral and correct for society. But the teacher and the child all together believe in the process and are a part of the process. This process, of course, enables the growth of the child and the teacher together. It's a process that the teacher goes through year after year and learns anew with every child and leads to the child feeling that they are successful. Success is what motivates the child and the child feels his success through his own activities and also through the input from the teacher, from the teacher motivating him by telling him how well he's doing. The child feels his uniqueness and his own strong points and the child is filled with self-esteem and this self-esteem is invaluable. It's important for everything he or she will be doing in later life. This is our overview. Thank you for listening. And I'm delighted that you're considering bringing a Helen Duron kindergarten or Helen Duron kindergartens to your community or country. Thank you very much.